<laughs> hey girls. How are you? Sheep are sorted. I've taken out the heavy and lamb ones. That no, 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 no. Hey, Crystal. Thank you. Yes, Crystal. You gotta, gotta, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Some yeas are in lamb, but they might have singles, and they might be late in the lambing season when it's end of March, beginning of April. Here they're eating the ivy and the bluebells. Come on, girls! Up and into the snowdrops. Don't eat my snowdrops. Up, they suddenly realize where they are. Don't trip me up. There we go. All galloping down to the feed troughs that are full and back into the field. Yay! Magic bucket did its thing. Clever dogs. Now I have to count to make sure I have the right number of animals because 12 yeos are left behind, so that leaves 18, I think. 18 animals plus 18 sheep and three alpaca. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, and three of you guys. That was the magic bucket. And a new bale of hay has been put out. So she looks in lamb, but she'll probably be late lambing. She looks in lamb, but she's gonna be late. She looks in lamb and she looks in lamb, but none of them are big and heavy. So I'm keeping the big heavy ones, even though they're lambing in about a month or three weeks, I've kept the big heavy ones back to feed extra in the shed because they probably are having twins or triplets. And the ones that look like they're single or not quite in lamb yet can, uh, don't need the extra nutrition. Okay, now to let them out. There you go, and you can see the daffodils are all coming out now. That field is full of daffodils. Come on, out you go. Out you go. Come on, out you go. 
You, wrong way. Wrong way, there's no more food left. Okay, leave it. Come on, Judy, out you go. Good girl, you're, you might be in lamb, but you're not gonna be lambing anytime soon. The sheep that I've kept are the ones that uh, need the little bit of extra nutrition. And the alpaca are back out in the field because it's just gonna be cold and not wet for a period of time. And that's what I'm gonna do. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Kestrel? Yeah. You want your treat, don't you? You belch. You big belch. Yeah. How are you?